this is good. Welcome back to my series of Scrap Mechanic. Currently, we are building a helicopter. And, um, I've basically done the interior. All I'm doing now is just making sure that all the flying mechanics work. You might have noticed that it's floating, so I added an anti gravity module onto world. It makes it easier to fly, but it's still, if I show you, doesn't fly straight, it goes forward. And because uh, there's, no, cause there's uh, no gravity, I'm stuck. Oh, actually, it's lagging. I can make it fall back down to the ground. If I turn this off, should. Okay, no, it doesn't fall back down to the ground. Right, this is a bit of a problem. Um. Um, what could I do? Could I maybe jump on my lift and go up? That's not close enough. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I can actually do. Can I? Oh, I think uh, shit there is making me lag. I don't want that. Um, I wanted my inventory. Um, I don't know what I could add. Um, I think I'm stuck. Unless, no, I'm probably not stuck if I get a modded, modded piston. I think these are a modded piston. Range. No, they're not the modded ones, they're just a small. So where are the modded ones? I know they're here somewhere. Uh ah. Oh. Lock piston. How good are these? Range. Right, if we change the range to fifteen. Speed. What happens? Does it work? Oh, is because I need to activate the block. Too short. Right, let's try. I'm sure there is one that stretches out a lot further. If I can find it, I've probably already gone past it. Um, how about if I type in oh, into the search bar piston? Right. Ah, here it is. This is the one I'm talking about. Right, I want the speed to be uh, quite fast, please. Connect that to that, turn that off. And it should take me a lot higher.
Oh, it's not put back down. So. I'm on. I've got it on the left. Coming down. And if I place it down. There we go. It's back. Right. Let's get rid of this piston and switch because we don't need it anymore. No shit needs saving. And get rid of that, which means this will now start moving. Just falls down. Right. What I can do if I empty out my search bar is I think there's like like a Wi-Fi box type sort of thing, which like I can send signals with, so I'll be able to control things wirelessly. Um. Oh, here it is, the wireless router. Router. Right. I'll put one on this table here. Connected to that. And uh, I think now be receiving. And then if I come into here, I could place one down here on top of the engine. Uh, I think I actually need to connect it to a switch. So if I put a switch here. There we go, and that. Right, why is it not working? Right, where can I get help? This wireless device can transmit data across long distances. E to change center, see pink color defines channel, white number frequency. Right. Well, if I get the paint tool, maybe it doesn't like default paint. Uh, let's give it a green colour. If I paint that green and uh, paint this one green, it should just uh, work. Right. Still not working. Wrong button. Um, what else is a? Uh, what else can it tell me? Caution: wireless devices on the same channel and frequency. Paint color defines channel. White number. Of frequency. Well, how do I change the white number? like crouch and pressy uh, I think that is broadcasting I think it is at least yeah crouching don't do anything now what happens Got a dial on here. Is it because it's on a different channel? Alright, oh, now it's working. Right. Now. Go on. If I press 5. Right, I think it's because I think I've got things the wrong way. Stuck in the chair. Maybe if I do it like that, stop 
If we press five. Right, now I've got it working. Stop working. Well, if it's constantly on, then wait. Are the back thrusters on? No. Odd. Right. Hmm. Right. Either way. Well, another way we could test this out is um, by putting it on the lift. If it, quotes, if it comes back down, then uh, gravity is um, the anti-gravity thing isn't working. Right, so it is working. What I could just do is just add down thrusters on this. So that it just doesn't. So that if I ever need to get down, I can go down without having to rely on gravity that isn't there. I could also probably do it so that um, only half of them work at one time. Um, I need to work out which ones I should use. These ones probably will do. Uh, I need a switch. I'll go for the mini lever. Right, here we go. One there, one there. One there, one there. One there, one there. One there, and one there. Right. If I don't get it finished in today's episode, I will work hard in between episodes so that it will be finished for me to show you next episode. And if I can't get it to work, then I'll probably give up and do something else. Right. Uh, and these places down. That's facing the wrong way. Put one there. Did I place it down? Place one there. And place one there. If I have that at the front and that is the back. Right. That. That. Connect to that one. These connect to this one. This one connects to. Oh, it hold. Right, there we go. This one connects to there. Um, and these two connect. Wrong one. It's somewhat working. Maybe if I push four.
Comets, especially me. It's leveling me out, I don't know why it's uh, not pushing me forward. Right. Now, I. No, what happens if I try this? Right, I basically got our main drive mechanism. And I've landed outside. Um Well it sort of flies, but now the door isn't working. Great. My door's not working. But can I even this out? And Right, here we go, we are now out. I'm going to end it here. I'm going to say it's done. In the next episode, we'll do something different. I know it's been a bit shorter than normal, but I'd say that is a helicopter challenge practically complete to a standard that I could do because I'm not very good at building. In the next episode, we'll have a look at other people's creations and, uh, yeah, check out the Steam Workshop. Thank you for watching.